Hi, my name is Christian Geringer and I'm presenting a study I conducted together with Heinz Röde from the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital in Cape Town and Michael Schumacher from the Center for Infectious Disease, Epidemiology and Research at the University of Cape Town. Since many years, South Africa has suffered from repeated episodes of power shutdowns in a process called rotational load shedding. That is a power blackout that is confined to an area and limited in time. At the Children's Hospital, we recognized that some patients being admitted had injuries that were clearly related to load shedding, in particular, but not exclusively, among those admitted to the burns unit. Our hypothesis therefore was that load shedding might lead to more pediatric hospital admissions and we summarized our assumptions about the process leading to these admissions in this directed acyclic graph, where weather and season were identified as a potential confounder. We used admission data from our hospital between June 2014 and May 2015, during which time Cape Town experienced 72 days of load shedding. We used Twitter and Facebook data to identify these days initially and were able to confirm them by documents from the city of Cape Town. With quasi-Poisson regression models, we explored the relationship between hospital admissions and load shedding, adjusted for confounders. This table now summarizes our main results. We found an overall 10% increase in hospital admissions for days of load shedding and up to two days following this event compared to days where there was no load shedding. Additionally, we estimated an average treatment effect using targeted maximum likelihood estimation. This means we looked at the difference in expected numbers of admissions per day had there been load shedding each day or any of the preceding two days compared with if there had not been any load shedding. We estimated a difference of about six additional admissions per day. And under the assumption that we have identified all confounding variables in our analysis and our modeling approach is correct, these additional six admissions per day are a direct cause of load shedding. Attempts to identify the exact health conditions that led to the admissions failed due to the lack of access to individual patient photos in our study. However, based on the ICD-10 code available for the main diagnosis of each child, the effect seemed widely distributed across different ICD-10 chapters. When I was in Cape Town during that time, only the economic costs of insufficient power supply was discussed intensively. And we hope now that with our study, we can have to draw some attention to other costs involved with this failing infrastructure. More and specifically funded research is definitely needed to confirm our findings also in other populations. And more importantly, to formulate recommendations for primary prevention. Thank you very much for watching and for your interest in our study.